Hi, in this video I will talk about arithmetic operations on pointers. So for understanding different arithmetic operations we will take one array as an example. Here is an array, I have declared an array with some elements. These are the indices of locations in an array and these are the addresses of the locations. As this is an integer type array, size of integer is 2 bytes. That's how if the first address is 100, then next location is 1 or 2. So this is taking space 100 as well as 101. It's taking 2 bytes. So every integer is taking 2 bytes. So these are the addresses if this is the beginning address. Now here I take two pointers P and Q. P and Q are two pointers. I have initialized P assign ampersand A of 0 so that is 100 stored in P and Q assign ampersand A of 3 so 106 is stored in Q. This initialization can also be written as A assign, P assign A even we can write it as p assign ampersand a all these three give same meaning next first operation arithmetic operation is pointer increment if i write p plus 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 means it's not just adding one to pointer but here plus plus gives the meaning that move to next element because pointer is for storing the address so it is storing the address of this integer so p plus plus means move to next integer so it will not increment by one but it will increment by two so that's how p moves on address one not two in our example p is integer pointer here it is integer pointer and when you increment p plus plus it will increment by 2 bytes if it is a float pointer p is suppose float pointer then when you say p plus plus it will increment by 4 bytes so depending on the size of the data type the pointer will move next operation is pointer decrement if i say q minus minus then this pointer q will move from 106 to 104 so it will decrement by 2 bytes so that's it q is moved on to the previous integer so q minus minus that is a decrement means move to previous element next a constant addition in a pointer if I add a constant value let us say 2 so this means move P by two elements in the forward direction so now P is at 100 so P should point on 104 it should move by 4 bytes means 2 integers yeah here it is P is pointing on 104 next is constant subtraction from Q I am subtracting minus 2 so this means move Q to the backward direction by two elements that is two integers <coughs> so Q should be pointing on 102 here Q points on 102 Q is decremented by two integers subtracting two points or pointers next operation is P and Q are pointing at two different locations that is 100 and 106 if we subtract them so then this will be 106 minus 100 so this gives 106 minus 100 gives 6 so this 6 doesn't make any sense so this means that these are 6 bytes away but integer size is 2 bytes so if we divide it 
then we get 3 so 3 is number of elements in between them so yes this is first element this is second and third so Q is 3 elements away from P so this gives the meaning how many number of elements are there in between P and Q so when you subtract you get number of elements in between them so that's it these are the arithmetic operations allowed on pointers none other than this is allowed like P plus plus increment P decrement P add K constant to P or subtract constant from P a pointer P or subtract two pointers we cannot add two pointers this is not allowed we cannot multiply two pointers this is not allowed or we cannot multiply any constant value with the pointer so all these operations actually they don't have any meaning they don't have any sense so that's why these are not used like p plus plus makes a sense that move p to next integer or next element right or move p to previous element so that's how they give some meaning so that's why these operations are allowed so one thing to remember is only these arithmetic operations are allowed on pointers right now let us look at some special expressions if pointer P is pointing on first integer that is 100 and if I say asterisk plus plus P what does it mean as these two operators are unary we should read them from right to left so first operation is plus plus and second operation is asterisk so P will first move to next location that is 102 and then take the value that is 8 so this gives the value 8 and P will be pointing on next integer next operation plus plus asterisk means first we should take this one and then we should take the second operation so first take the data so this 5 is taken and plus plus 5 is increment so 5 becomes 6 now so the result is 6 here next operation this is very interesting asterisk p plus plus asterisk p plus plus means we should read it from right to left so first is plus plus so plus plus should be done on the pointer but this is post increment this will not be done right away it will be done after the end of expression so next operation that is done is asterisk so this asterisk is performed on P first so P it will take 5 so it will read the value 5 then increments and it will move P to next integer so that's how this gives the result as 5 and P will move to next integer so finally we can say that plus plus asterisk p means take data and increment data because the first is reading the data and then increment data move pointer to next element and read data so this will move P to the next location and then read the data and asterisk P plus plus means read data then move P to next even plus plus asterisk p in bracket also means the same thing but here asterisk p plus plus have different meaning read the data and 
increment the data this will increment the data so asterisk p in brackets plus plus this increments the data whereas this will take the data and increment the pointer hope you have understood the differences between the operations and different operations of pointer thank you for watching